Today, Chinese automaker is building South Africa's largest vehicle factory. Beijing Automobile International Corporation, or BIKE, is setting up shop in the Coega Special Economic Zone in Port Elizabeth. Now, the company has invested about $100 million in the project, which is one of the agreements that China and South Africa signed back in 2015. First a car off the new production line with features South African drivers love. Many South Africans test the Bluetooth and play the music very loudly. That's usually the first car feature they try out. They tend not to like the sunroof or moonroof windows, maybe for security concerns. This is Beijing Automotive Industry Corporation's first overseas factory. It's in Port Elizabeth, home to South Africa's motor vehicle industry, where over 60 percent of Africa's cars are produced. The joint venture's chief financial officer is introduced by the co-investor IDC Funding under South African government. The expectation is growth. It's adding value, obviously, to the economy and um, the activity in the export. Um, because it will also benefit not just South Africa, but also the uh, Africa continent as a whole. And I've spoken about local um, content of components that then increases in terms of the auto industry. This factory is planning to buy about 30 percent of the components of such a car from local factories here in South Africa, such as the bumper and the rear view mirror. And that figure could one day be as high as 60 percent as the factory expands, driving the development of industries here. Just over a year since construction of the factory began, over 90 percent of its workers are South African citizens. One of them says he can handle the Chinese speed well. The Chinese speed of working, I'm quite familiar with speed. Uh, what I like about them, they respect, they respect, they really respect. The first time I started here, they uh, gave me induction so that they can know the, 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 the product of uh, Bike SA. The factory, just one of several car ventures that China invested in South Africa, has many international competitors in Port Elizabeth, but some say it has its own market. Will people really like fancy cars or will they buy them? They will definitely buy them. Um, so we call the, the, the vehicles that we are bringing in, the D20 and the X25, more the entry level for the South African market. And at that level, you have got more the big market. Um, so that would be the students uh, going to university. That would be uh, people starting their new jobs. 